These questions need to be asked in different sequences and use these to come up with your own powerful questions that are unique for your product or service. When it comes to questions, there is no one set of specific questions to ask. However, the idea is the same, to dig deep for information that is needed for you to be able to custom tailor each presentation and close and rebuttals to objections for each unique customer that you're presenting. But here are some questions and statements that I want you to consistently use in each and every presentation that you do. Actually, Media Facilitator, I want you to put me on pause in a second and get some feedback from your salespeople as far as they, what they would do in the following situation. Guys, imagine you're in a face-to-face -face presentation and your customer is about to stand up and leave or you're at their office and he's about to stand up and end the meeting or you're on the phone and the customer is about to hang up the phone. What statement or what question would you say or use right at that moment to get the conversation back on track to prevent the customer from leaving or hanging up the phone? Me, facilitator, put me on pause and ask a few people or everyone if you have time what they would do in this exact situation. Let's go around the room. Put me on pause now. All right, welcome back. Now, if you're a sales veteran, I probably took the topic of asking questions pretty deep so far because pretty much if you could summarize quality sales training when it comes to asking questions, it usually sounds like this. And everybody, look at, a, look at the sales veteran in the room right now and see if he or she agrees with me. Ask lots of questions. They control the conversation. They keep the customers engaged. Ask a question every 30 seconds. And basically, the topic is over. But I always thought to myself that sales training was too much on the surface level, that we need to get more granular. How about giving us the actual questions that we should ask the customer? So let's really go deep right now. Let me give you some power questions that I've been using for 31 plus years that will solve the situation I just described and many others. I'm going to teach you what body language and voice qualities that you need to use when asking these questions because after all, body language and voice qualities are 93% of communication. All right, let's jump into the actual questions. Here we go. Let me ask you a question. This is such a great question because it pre-frames your next question and you are getting the customer to focus on what you're about to say. When selling, I use this question numerous times throughout the presentation, sometimes 20 or more in a single presentation. Again, it was, let me ask you a question. I also love it because it helps you keep control of the conversation. Also, this is a great question to ask, even if you don't have a question to ask the customer at the very moment you say it. You just have to think fast of a question to ask after you ask it. So getting back to the situation, I had the media facilitator ask you a few moments ago, you would say this, well, let me ask you a question. When you find the presentation or the conversation is slipping away from you rapidly, again, just say, let me ask you a question, even if you don't have a question to ask. And there's a few more questions you're going to ask that go along with this one when you find the conversation slipping away from you rapidly. I'll give you those in just a moment because it's a sequence of questions that you use for the situation. And during this sequence, you'll have enough time to think of the question that you want to ask the customer. Don't worry. Everybody take a moment and write each of these questions down. I'm going to be giving you because one, I want you to memorize them and two, because we're about to role play this as a group. So write the first one down, which is, let me ask you a question. Again, that's, let me ask you a question. Now with this next one, it's actually a statement, but this is a perfect time to go over it. It's excellent, and I use it to keep the customer's attention and to regain control. Here it is.